It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today I want to talk about this album, Just Allah's long awaited second album, MMA, Meanest Man Alive. Alright, a lot of y'all know that I've been waiting for this shit just as much as some of y'all have. Um, finally here, Just Alive's meanest motherfucking man alive. Um, shout out to Just Alive, that goes without saying. Um, he's an MC from right here in Jersey, from Camden, New Jersey. That's all the way, going uh, way south from where I'm at. But um, shout out to Just um, for those that don't know who he is, he, um, is, well, was a member of the, uh, the underground, uh, legendary rap group, Jedi Mind Tricks, um, and this album right here, uh, let me tell you, uh, a lot of you know that, that he's been doing promo for this for the last couple years, um, he had a single drop from, um, this this album called 180 degrees and uh he has a video for it and when that came out i was fucking hype i was like finally a new just a lot album and um you know this this was finally gonna be something that was his because if if um anybody remembers when uh what was his first one um when uh all fates have changed yeah, I think it's called All Fates Have Changed. He really wasn't in control of a lot of that. That's why you heard a lot of his verses recycled a bunch of times on there. And he really wasn't pleased with the with the result of that shit. So this is his baby. This is, this is what he was working on the whole time. Um, shit was supposed to be um, all produced by, uh, entirely produced by C. Lance, my brother C. Lance, shout out to you. Um, but as some of you know, over the last, I would say maybe year, year and a half, when this has became, uh, when this has materialized, I guess, this whole friction, um, just a lot, I, uh, has, has an issue with, um, Jedi Mind Tricks and, um, Army of the Pharaohs, you know, some of the people in Army of the Pharaohs, and um, I know I said I was going to do a video on this, but it became kind of tedious trying to find a point of origin for this shit, you know, like, what the fuck happened, well, what made just, you know, angry at these guys, and um, a lot of y'all came to me, you know, oh, he's, he's, he's tweeting these dudes, and, you know, it's, it's um, going back and forth, and, um, Look, I don't know what spawned it with, with Just A Lot. I don't know if he felt slighted because of money or I don't know what happened behind the scenes. So um, you could go see the tweets for yourself. You figure it out. Um, right now, it's just left to speculation. And I don't want to sit here and speculate on why that happened. But um, I will say it obviously affected the release you know it affected the timing of this coming out and um it also affected the production which i'll get into later on you know how i do my videos pros and cons i'll get into that but um right now you know there's the artwork very simple there's him on the front just looking at your ass um back track listing 10 tracks inside tracks production credits um, let me spin this cd around the cd 
has the same artwork as the back of the, um, the thing that holds the CD right here. CD holder, I guess you would call it. Right here, it's the same thing. He's uh, slashing somebody with a knife and it's zooming in on his face and that's his face right there. Um, so that's the artwork, very basic. Shout out to, what's his name, Kibo, I believe. Yeah, Kibo, shout out to him for, for the artwork and the painting of, of this guy. Um, productions on this bitch, production credits, I should say. You have live, anthro, I don't know how to say this guy's name, anthropophagus, I guess that's how you say it. it's long, one word. Uh, I guess together they're known as the Frog Brothers, um, and Live is on here several times. He produced like damn near half the album. Uh, Ethan Mintz, Architect, Psycho Less from um, Beat Nuts, shout out to my man Psycho Less, legendary producer and MC. Um, you got Paul Danger, and that's about it. Features, this album's feature list, which y'all know I love. Um, look, well, let's jump, let's jump into the pros and cons of this shit. Uh, pros, um, like I just said, it's feature list. It's just a lie. I'm a big just a lie guy, so um, I know what I'm getting when I'm listening to this guy. Straight, bar for bar, um, anger. Um, he spits how I fucking feel. A lot of people, when I put out my EP, I, uh, people were, were comparing me, saying that uh, I sound like a, a mix of Dre and Cool G rap. But, you know, part of the, uh, one of the MCs that was in my mind was just a lot. Uh, he definitely, like, I have, I have anger in me that I just, it's so put eloquently when it's written and he's one of them dudes that 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 resonates with me so I, I definitely love this guy um, uh, uh, there's not too many topic topic tracks on here um, you have you know there, there's one song where he's talking about uh, he's doing a storytelling type track where he's talking about his cousin who's in a coven um, not so sure if that's true, but it was a dope track anyway. He, he even has a track where he's talking about being a uh, some type of magical uh, murderer, you know. Um, but for the most part, you already know what you're getting when you're listening to this guy. Um, cons. Like I, like I mentioned before, this whole rift with, with the AOTP dudes um, possibly affected the production on this shit. Production wasn't really horrible. Um, you know, a lot of people have come to me. Um, shout out to my man Ricky. I know you're watching this video. I know you were one of these dudes that, because I've seen your comments on other fucking videos. Uh, uh, the production slow and da 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 and this and that um i don't think the production was was bad i just think that you know with the hype behind this album i think that people were expecting a higher level of, because again you know you you had c lance a guy who in my opinion uh he kind of gave jedi mind tricks when stoop wasn't around gave them them banging ass fucking beats gave them the beat the hard body type shit and when I, like i said i you know early in the video i was excited when i, I heard that my dude was going to be producing this shit and i was being like per that's perfect the perfect marriage of rhymes and beats and i think that that kind of was uh a little bit towards this album's detriment in my opinion um you know, because uh, if you listen to 180 Degrees, if you see the video, that's what I was expecting the album to sound like. That just high paced fucking, you know, that would have got me in. You know, I would have definitely had the goosebumps going and head nodding and all of that shit. Um, the album had had a slow pace to it. 
compared to what I thought it was going to be. I will admit that. Um, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Um, uh, just wish it could have been C. Lance. But, you know, that that's what it, it is what it is. Another gripe of mine is that it, it's a little bit short. It, it's, it's about 10 tracks. Um, I think it's a little bit, maybe a little bit above... Uh, half an hour um speaking of 180 degrees uh the psycho less beat uh you know i like i said i, I love psycho less from the beat nuts but uh um just to speak on that i like the c lance beat way better uh for the single um and dj eclipse's cuts that were on there on the original beat fucking amazing um Oh, and shout out to DJ TMB and DJ Neb for the cuts on this album. But um, not a bad album. Shout out to Just A Lot. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put the link down there. Go order from his Tumblr. Go get the physical shit. If not, go get the iTunes. Go pay for this shit. Um, he definitely deserves it. Uh, Jersey MC, got to show him some love. And... Um, Hopefully he continues, you know, uh, doing what he does. Uh, at this point, you know, I, I kind of hope that they, uh, that him and Vinny and the rest of the dudes fix their shit. I know this happened before, years back too. But, um, you know, if not, you know, continue making good music, man. I enjoy your music. I'm a fan. You're an influence just. And um, my rating of this... I would give it a, I would give it a, a seven to eight. Um, will it appear on my top twenty-five? I don't know yet. Top twenty-five of two thousand and fifteen. Um, so that's all I gotta say. I'm done rambling. I gotta go play some Metal Gear Solid Five. Definitely recommend that game to y'all if y'all haven't played it. Get on it. And um, that's it. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, support dope shit, and that's it, all right? Peace, bitches.